Good morning, people! Good morning, everyone! Matcha tea, guys. Inom muna tayo pang pagising. So, welcome back again to my channel, guys. Today is quite a different, a different vlog, a different video, because I'm going to film a sit-down video, and this is going to be interesting for a lot of people. First of all, there are a lot of people who are asking me how to get here in New Zealand, and how did I end up being a New Zealand dairy farmer. Now, <clears throat> if you have been watching my previous vlog, previous videos, guys, you would know that I am a dairy farmer here in New Zealand. And I would love to help other people get an idea about what are the things that we do, what are the daily routine in the farm. So I am going to talk in Taglish. That's because I am not fluent in Tagalog and I am not fluent in English either. So I'm just gonna kind of do a mixed thing. And we are going to tackle some things to give you ideas on how to get here in New Zealand. Um, first things first, guys. We have been here since 2015, so we've been here for four years now. Um, so just gonna keep, keep this clear to everyone, guys. We are not a resident here in New Zealand. We are holding a temporary work visa. And I am under his visa, which is, um, I'm holding a partnership visa. That is a good type of visa, guys. So what we did, we tried to find um, a job online. So we did it directly, guys. We emailed a lot of people. We went to different sites. But we found this site, guys. It's fence post before, but now it's um, farm source. So we, we we checked out this website, and then we found out that this website is a New Zealand-based website where a lot of people, a lot of farmers, o uh, farm owners, posting here about the jobs that they require. So about it's um, all about job vacancy, guys, in New Zealand. So we sent a lot, sent out a lot of CVs, guys. I think, if I'm not mistaken, my boyfriend sent out 500 plus CVs. And I did like 100 CVs, guys. So, after 500 or maybe nearly 500 CVs, guys, my boyfriend was like, he was so frustrated because all the emails that we got back, guys, they required us to be here to be eligible to apply for a job so inisip ng boyfriend ko oh, wala na talagang pag-asa na makapunta sa New Zealand and meron din mga nagsasabi sa kanya na what you need to do is you need to get an experience outside the country which is if you have like two years experience then it's going to be a lot easy for you to apply for a job in New Zealand directly so he Decided to okay. I'm going to apply for a job in Almaray, which is in Middle East But you know, it's Almaray compared to New Zealand and New Zealand is what he wants But then he couldn't get a job. So he thinks that it's better for him to get an experience first in Almaray there are also um, <clears throat> Dairy farms in Japan guys but you're gonna have to learn to speak um, their language first, Nihongo. So you're gonna have to study that first. And then, yeah, time comes that he sent out a lot of CVs to um, Almarai Farms as well. And then, one day, he got a mail from an employer here in New Zealand. He's willing to interview us. He's not us, because I'm not yet included to the job, guys. So he interviewed my boyfriend. So they did a so they did an interview through Skype. They talk a lot of things and you know get like getting to know each other first. And then he passed the first interview. And then next next week, I think the next no, the next day, they emailed him back 
and they scheduled another interview for him. And then that day, it was like a formal interview about what his experience on a farm and he told him that, you know, my experience is way, way different compared to New Zealand farming, but I am very eager to learn. I am willing to learn and I am a hardworking person. Well, everybody is. Everybody is a hardworking person. So, yeah. And long story short, he got the job and he, the employer asked him if he already have a wife and then he told him no I don't but I have a girlfriend and his employer asked him if he wants me if my boyfriend wants me to come with him because I still I also can so he got excited and yeah we pushed through it and my employer asked me about my job experience and I told him that I did this I did this I did this but I don't if, if you are going to compare my um, my experience on the job in New Zealand, it's way different, guys. So, yeah. Um, we ended up getting a visa and we are really, really excited about it, guys. With, we can't thank God, you know. It's like a blessing in disguise. Because sobra, sobrang bait ng employer namin, guys. Sobra talaga ng bait. Um, he's he's the only employer that we had here in New Zealand, guys. Hindi kami lumipat ng farm, so it has been four years since we've been working for him. <clears throat> um, when we arrived here in New Zealand, it was late night, so our employer picked us up in the airport. They, so it was like 12 a.m. and the or 11 a 11 p.m. It's winter time, so. <laughs> It was really cold and we were only wearing one layer of sweater and we're like when we got out of the airport we're like frozen and then suddenly all this smoke are coming out from our mouth and we're like oh my god it's really cold but it's really nice it's a nice feeling and then after that kasi guys malayo yung farm niya malayo yung bahay niya sa, sa Auckland sa airport so, kailangan namin mag-travel ng mga 3 hours or more. So, ginawa niya, ginawa ng employer namin, we stayed out the na we stayed the night sa parents niya in Morinsville. And sobrang bait ng parents niya, guys. Grabe talaga yung experience na yon. Doon kami nakapag-sabi na, "Thank you Lord for this blessing. You blessed us with good good employer as well." Ayun na guys, um, kinabukasan, dinala niya kami sa store, Din they bring us out to um, this store called Farm Source, RD1, if I'm not mistaken, RD1, and then they um, got us a lot of farm farm clothes, so boots, um, wet gears, thermals, jackets, fleeces, yeah, all the farm stuff. And we are really thankful for that. So, as day goes by, we we started working on the farm, and then and we did a a training, guys. First training namin is general farm, general farm na training, which is bikes, um, two wheel drive, and quad bikes. Yung mga ganon. A lot of people are asking me as well if the job is hard. Guys, lahat naman siguro ng job, I think every type of job is hard. But if you put your heart through it, if you make it your passion, you know, like a lifestyle, then you wouldn't think that you're working a day. Now, <clears throat> being a dairy farmer, guys, I will be straightforward. It's hard. You need to wake up early in the morning. You need to, in our case, in our farm, because because we do have a lot of different system. Um, we are milking in peak. We are milking 700 cows. We are in a two 279 hectare farm. There's only four of us. Well, there's three of us now. The other one is a handyman. Reasonably saying it's just me and my partner that's working on the farm because the other one is the manager and 
Guys, if you want to work here in New Zealand, please, please guys, make sure that you put your heart through it. You do a lot of trainings. Kung nandiyan pa kayo sa Pilipinas, guys, mag-train kayo kung paano mag-drive ng two-wheeler. Or if you, you know a person that you can get the training on how to drive a tractor, a four-wheeler bike, do it, guys. Kasi it will be your advantage when you arrive here. Kasi, guys, yung mga roads dito, yung mga races ng farms, especially kung maulan, sobrang basa, sobrang yung yung slide, yun parang ano siya guys, mahirap na mag-drive. And, kung may experience kayong ganyan guys, mas madali kayong ma-hire. I think wala nang ano guys, wala na nga yung direct hiring. Kasi last batch yata kami na nakapag-direct hire pa. So, you're gonna need to have an experience abroad. At least two years experience abroad guys. So that you can um, get a job here in New Zealand. So, there are three ways on how to get here in New Zealand guys. First is you um, go to school here, study in NTA in New Zealand, but you're gonna, you, you're gonna need to be willing to spend around 600 to 700 thousand pesos, but you are guaranteed to have a job for a year after that. I know a lot of people who, who did that and now they are working here for two years, two years already. Second one is you get an experience outside, outside the Philippines and there's a farm in Almaray, also in Japan, that you, you can work. You need to have two years experience for that and then from there you can apply a job directly. Thirdly is you do a training in the Philippines, you find a legitimate agency, you apply through them and then they will find a job for you. So those are the three ways that I know and how to get here guys. And I also want to answer those people who keep on asking us how did we, you know, end up being able to provide for our travels and stuff. Kasi if you if you saw my um, previous vlogs, it's all about travel and we travel a lot. That's because guys, me and my boyfriend get the same off together. That is why I decided to get this job because I have a choice to work in town, you know, work outside the farm, but then I decided to work here and that's because of the advantage of us getting the same off together. But let me let me put this out there. Not all farms give gives you the same day off. So, sobrang lucky lang talaga namin, guys. So, that's that's the reason why we can travel together. And another one, guys, is we don't have a child yet. Starting salary, guys, starting salary ng mga dairy farmer here in New Zealand, guys, is around $39,000 to $49,000. And that's not including... Um, and hindi, pa, hindi yan net, guys. So, the... Um, the monthly rent of the house will be taken out from that salary. The electricity, well, the water is free. Most of most farms here get uh, free water. Kasi nga, nasa farm kayo and you get the water from the spring or bore. Yan yung source namin. So, what we pay is sa house, rent and tax. Electricity, internet. So, yun yung, and plus tax. So, all those four things, guys, will be taken out from the $39,000 to $40,000 a salary, annual salary, ng first, ng, ano, ng junior farm assistant here in New Zealand. And actually, if you are working in, in dairy farm, guys, that's a lot cheaper. You get a lot cheaper rent compared on, uh, compared if you're working um, in town or in city, in the city. So, say, say for example, you're working in Auckland. So, I heard that the rent there goes around 600, 400 to 600 bucks per week. And that's super expensive, guys. And that's not like a full house. You all only get like a room for yourself. So, we are really lucky working here and I love it here, guys. 
there is no neighbor. <laughs> your neighbor, your neighbor, guys, is like 500 meters away from you. So yeah, I will show you the view. So that's the view. Yan yung farm namin, guys. That's our view. Imagine you wake up early in the morning or, or when you when you're on day off and you see that view all green, you know, nice day. If you guys want to know more, let me know in the comment section down below. Please don't hesitate to ask me questions about anything and I will try and answer it. So, thank you again guys for watching my video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and also click the notification bell na rin guys and please share this video if you think that this video is a bit informative for you so that I could help a lot of people who are thinking of coming here in New Zealand whether you work as a dairy farm or not. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and hope you are having a good day. Bye!